Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through the Elementor navigation menu widget. And this menu widget is not like the native WordPress menu widget that is available in the Elementor element section. To be able to use this navigation menu widget which is from Elementor, you should have Elementor Pro. And if you don't have Elementor Pro, I'll kindly request you to use my affiliate link which is gotekug.com forward slash Elementor. If you use my affiliate link, you are not actually charged an extra buck, but I receive a commission on a purchase that you make. And that way I'm in position to keep making these tutorials. Once you have your Elementor Pro installed, you'll simply come over here to templates and say add new. And then we are going to create like a header for our website. I'll call it demo. Then I create the template because now the navigation element will basically work either in a header or in a footer or in a sidebar or anywhere else you'll place it. But in this case, I'll just show you an example using a header. So I'll close this up. Then right here, I can add a section. So I'll add like uh, this section. Then maybe I can close this up. I can reduce this a bit and reduce this other a bit. And then I can add here maybe like uh, an image and uh, that can be any image just I'm just filling up space and then right here I'll come here to the widgets and then I'll search for the nav menu so dope I drop it over here and boom now with this widget you can make a lot of more other edits if you click on the element edit section or button you simply availed these other options for example we can choose which menu we want to appear in this case i'll select the primary menu in order to have these options for which menu to use you should have created a menu under appearance menus so when we go to appearance menus you realize that i already created a menu for the footer and I've also created a menu for the header which is actually the primary menu which is this and that is what is being reflected here now here I can still select the kind of menu I want to the layout of the menu whether I want it to be vertical whether I want it to be a drop-down menu for example in case I don't have this uh, section I can have simply my menu at the very end of my website for example like this and then i can have it aligned at the extreme end of my website however in this case i want it to be maybe horizontal okay and then i can decide where to align where my menu should be maybe i want it to if i want it to be stretched uh, based on the available space or i want it to be centered or I want it to be left aligned. It's all up to me. And then you can decide to have a pointer on your menu elements, on your menu items, like an underline. If you don't want, you simply say none. Then you can choose the sub menu indicator in case there is an item, which is like a drop down. You can choose either to have a classic chevron angle or a plus, like that shows here with the, on the icon that shows over here uh, let me just show you how that looks like this is the primary menu I'll add uh, basically custom element hash column one okay I add to the menu I'm going to add over here to the practice areas column two hash I'll also add to the practice areas then column three uh, hash is basically to add a link to this uh, menu item so I add it over here then right here I save my menu come back here to our demo or template I'll simply uh, save a draft then I'll reload this page so that 
our sub menu items reflect on our menu navigation now you see what i was telling you so at the moment we have we have the sub menu indicator as the classic but we can choose a chevron we can choose the angle we can choose a plus let me just leave it at plus for now we can also choose the mobile drop down and here we will select the, the breakpoint so we can say our menu will only break down if someone is viewing on a tablet of this uh, width or less in, t in terms of pixels so it will be 10 25 pixels and less or we can decide and say we want it only to break when it is on a mobile of seven six eight pixels and below so i'll leave it for now on default or we can even say no we don't want our menu to break down if i view on the mobile and i want my uh, menu to appear alongside the logo here it doesn't really look nice so you can come over here to the column by selecting that column i can give it a percentage that it, sh it should take over so maybe like 30 percent and then come over to the other column that is in our header and we say it should take over this the other 70 percent so that means you have your logo here and your nav menu right here so if we go back to our desktop version we have our nav menu here if we go to our mobile version it will appear like that if we go to our tablet it will appear like that we can also do the same we make it here to go 70 and we make our logo to go 30 which is pretty big still we can make the logo to go 10 let's make the logo to go 20 we can even add a couple of padding it's a 20 percent okay this looks better and then here for our other column we make it to be 80 takes over the rest of the space pretty nice if we come back to our navigation menu element we can even choose the type of uh, drop down that it will be whether it's a hamburger or a nun so at the end of the day it will be showing up the whole menu right here which won't make sense so it's better we use uh, a hamburg and then we can decide how to align that hamburg or that menu within our section or column okay so i think for me the right align is better then when we come back to our desktop version then we can actually go to the styling section and we can style up our navigation menu and we can say maybe the text color is uh, maybe blue okay and then we can add padding to the words we can add vertical padding in case we need you know we can add space between the words you know we can uh, add a hover color in case anyone hovers over here something like this on hover changes over to that color and then if the page is active we can also choose an active color for that specific page you can even add padding spacing you know you can even still add padding spacing for the active page let me just show you da 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 you can choose a color here we can just be some kind of green like that and then on that drop down you can make specific settings in case someone is uh, seeing your drop down menu right here so you can say uh, active color you can even make them to be different colors like active color should be this hover color uh, we can say still back on the normal section on the text color it can be green and then we can set a background color we can even issue a background color right here and say let me make it just like this but very very light something like that then uh, we can even choose the typography the typefaces for our it can be a different one we can change the typography on the main menu we can make changes right here by changing to let me say pt sans um something like that and then once someone goes to the drop down version of that same uh, menu we can change it to maybe um times new romance so now let me show you once we are on mobile version you see we are having times new romance 
but I don't think we would want to have something like that. Something uniform is better. PT Sans. Okay, so you see how it looks like. And then on hover, we can change that text color. If someone hovers over here, we can make it to be white. Okay, looks better. And then the submenu items. Um, for example, we come over here on Togo. We can choose that on Togo we have a different normal and background color. We can choose even a hover color which is different. If we go back to the drop down version, you still have a lot more other options to choose from, like even the divider. Let me go back to the desktop version. So you can choose a divider for your drop down menu, vertical padding, horizontal padding, a border for your drop down you know, menu just like this if you want a border you can choose it but for me this actually looks really nice and then um, we can even go to the advanced settings for, for our navigation menu item you can add margins to our menu item padding to this uh, to the menu item itself imagine if you have other elements on top here or other elements below here you may consider using margins like also the z index also because sometimes you may have your menu or being overlapped or under some other section so you can easily select that menu navigation menu item and add a z index of like two three so that you have it up or below some element you can even add motion effects for example you can save the interest animations maybe you can save and zoom left you know something just flows in right there specify even the time slow fast one of the reasons why i love elementor it gives you the possibility to do something based on what you want then you can even add mouse effects it's called actually a mouse track you can enable that you can even add the speed see how that goes like okay i don't want anything like that you can add custom positioning for your uh, navigation uh, element then the responsiveness you can say okay i don't want this menu to appear on desktop versions <laughs> very funny but hey you have the option here but of course you have made this menu to appear on desktop uh, computers so and then maybe you can also uh, hide it on a specific uh, device like maybe hide it on a tablet or you can hide your navigation element on a mobile version that goes back to what you want anyway that's a simple walkthrough on how the Elementor nav menu widget actually works. So I want you to go down in the comment box below and let me know what you're going to build next. In case you're having any challenges with your Elementor navigation, I'll be also happy to read them and maybe I can uh, lend in a hand. If this tutorial brought you value, please hit the like button, comment, like, and if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out new other tutorials just like this. Thank you so much for watching and seeing the next one.